Holy crap. I'm so excited. I can't stand it. All right, guys. Right now, I am absolutely beside myself. I've joked about this in my videos a million times. This is my number one bucket list horror movie filming location of all time. Right now, I am in Gatlin, Nebraska, which is actually Whiting, Iowa. And if you guys don't recognize this, this is the middle of town where Children of the Corn was filmed. Look at this. This is just, this is absolutely amazing to me. And in no way do I mean this in a bad way, but look at this town. I mean, it basically looks like a completely abandoned town. So being here right now looks and feels exactly how it feels to watch Children of the Corn. Now I will come back here one day and I will do an extensive exploration and presentation of all the filming locations of Children of the Corn from 1984 because that movie has played such a part in my life in loving everything spooky and loving just horror movies as a whole. I mean, my entire life, anytime I have ever seen corn, I have thought of Children of the Corn. So there goes a car right now through town. There's another one over here. There was actually a motorcycle that drove through and a few other things. You can see some other cars up here. So this is a fully functional town, despite the way that it looks. And we are actually gonna go in this Good Time Charlie's and get a malt before we leave. But I wanna show you a few things from around here first. Now I will tell you first, if you've never seen Children of the Corn from 1984, it is scary, it is bloody, it is awesome. And it happened right here. At the beginning of the movie, Joby and his dad go in this malt shop right across the street. It's called Hanson's. Now, you don't see the exterior until later on in the movie, but you can recognize it with this over here. Hanson's Cafe. And look at this. This absolutely blows me away. Up here is still the malts and sodas sign. I, I, I can't believe that. <laughs> I don't know if this is actually a functional business right now. It looks like it's maybe like a thrift store or something. But in the movie, the interiors were not shot at this location. This was just used for the exterior. And if you've watched my movie filming locations videos before, you know that a lot of movies are filmed like in different locations and then stitched together to make it look like one single place. So yeah, in the movie, this was used as the exterior shots of Hanson's. In the interior shots where you see Isaac walk up to the window, those were actually filmed like 10 miles away in another town called Hornick. The exterior of that one actually looked more like this with the two windows and one door. And as Isaac is supposedly standing at this window right here in front of this malt shop, you can see the United States Post Office behind him. But you can clearly see here in Whiting is beside the malt shop. But in Hornick, he would be standing at like this window and right behind him, you could see the post office. So I gotta point this out too, guys. It's really spooky to see stuff like this. These paintings, the religious things around town here. And then like over here on this window, there's a Bible passage, John 14, 6. Because Children of the Corn is based on like basically religion gone wrong. All the adults in the movie have been killed. The kids have all taken over and they basically kill any other adults that come into town. So I only have a little bit of time here in town. I gotta hit the road, but I wanted to show you this as well because this is like probably the most iconic spot in the entire movie. If I had my drone out, you could see this better, but if you look at the shape of these buildings over here, the, uh, the light poles, and then heading down this way to the flagpole in the middle of the street, and this building back here. This area is the middle of town. This is where Malachi was coming down through town, leading all the other children of the corn. And he had Vicky, and he was yelling, Outlander! And then he went to the middle of town, to that flagpole right there. 
And from this angle right here, he's standing at the flagpole, he's holding Vicky, and he's saying, Outlander, maybe you don't hear so well. And he cuts her face and she screams. And I'll tell you what, guys, being here right now on location in the middle of town where that happened is absolutely unbelievable. If you have never been to an actual movie filming location from a movie that you love, you've got to do it at some point. Like, you know it's just a movie, but stepping out into a real town, into a place where it was filmed, and this town is fully functional, it just feels like it makes the whole thing real. You just feel like, oh my God, this is really where it happened. Even though you know it never really did happen. And to come over here and like touch this flagpole right now, this is just, this is absolutely amazing to me. If I had more time and more daylight, I would make the whole video today. I would love to see each and every one of the locations where they filmed that movie. But from now on, every single time I watch Children of the Corn, it will have a completely different feeling because I've actually been where it happened. Outlander, we have your woman! Outlander, maybe you don't hear so well! Aww.